wish one of the artists was here so they can. Uh, oh, they could tell me more about it. Yeah. That'd be nice too. But you know, I can always do a, a secondary video. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is my first time even knowing this place even existed. It's good to know. Now, did they used to do welding in this building too? Uh, I'm not sure. Since I started working here, it's only been a hard Oh, okay, cool. And this hard code has been around since like, the 90s, so. You know, I, I explore a lot of stuff around the city of Boston and I come across quite a few interesting things and I like this, so it's pretty good. A lot of great artwork. I'm not going to try to say the name of this place because I'm going to butcher it. So I'll wait to the end to show you what, it, what the acronym stands for. Let me step back a little bit so you can see that. And you get to see all the fantastic artwork that they have there. Let's follow the wall around so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Just follow the wall and you see all the talented people that done a lot of artwork here. Um, it's pretty pretty spacious, so. Just gotta kind of get what you see. Uh, one day I gotta come here when a local artist is here so they can tell you more about these paintings. And I'm gonna try to highlight a lot more of these things like this in the city that no one knows about. It'd be interesting. It's a bench, I'm not sure if somebody crafted that by hand, but it looked like it was handmade. You see all the detail in the wood sculpture in. Nice. This is a big uh, canvas here, so it's pretty big. Look like a six by six or eight by six. Take a quick walk. I'm not gonna go over there because those areas are blocked off. But we we'll stay to the main wall. That'd be interesting. I happened to stumble by this place a couple of weeks ago. I, I was curious so what was in the building. So I inquired and uh the gentleman was nice enough to let me in and take a look at what's going on inside. What a lot of detailed artwork. Like everything you do with your hands is art. It's all creativity. Your mind is the limit. Nice, I like that too. Wow. I'm just gonna follow the wall all the way around so you can see everything here. I, I understand there's two floors of this, so I'm gonna try to catch two floors so you guys get to see everything. Excuse me for going too fast because I'm just trying to capture everything here. Nice detail work. These are probably the artists who designed it and sculpture it. You can highlight good stuff like this in your community. When you find something talented and exciting and information on let people know. Don't hold it to yourself. Let other people know about it. Uh, yeah, wow. 
nice. All this stuff is very, very creative. Very creative. Wow, nice. These, these are made out of keys, so look at this one, it's a bunch of uh, different types of keys that they used. Wow. Very nice. Have you done any of this at work or no? Huh? Have you done any of this yourself? Oh, no, no, no. No? Okay. <clears throat> Very, very creative. I just be here sometimes when some of the guys are here. Cool. So I'm doing this on the other side. They're trying to have a resurgence to where like they're opening it more to the public more. Oh, right, cool. So they can have you know more traction. And uh huh. Most importantly, have more youth come in. That's interesting. Yeah, I like that. And there's also the third floor. If you want to come oh, check out the third floor too. Okay. I mean the fourth floor right now. I checked that out. I the hallway, so. Cool. There's a few stuff. Everything's at everything's at work, you know. Cool. Thanks for letting me take a look at take a look at it. This is spectacular. Get this, get some information right here if you guys want to read that. Okay. Take a quick walk around this real quick. Uh, even have a um, carpet there. So guys, um, I'm hoping you guys enjoy this artwork here. This is, I won't tell you where it is until I get outside, but it's, it's not too far from Stony Brooks. It's a nice little side street off of uh, Amory Street in uh, Jamaica Plain. And check this out too. A lot of interesting things. Uh, hopefully one day I could come by here when the local artists are here and they could tell me more in detail about the uh, things that they have done. Um, he said that hopefully it's, they soon open this up to the public so the general public will be able to walk in and check it out. Um, there's so much stuff I can't gather at all, so I'm kind of trying to go a little quick because I don't want to hold this gentleman up either. Almost done with this room. There's like several different rooms. I'm not going to be able to get them all. I just want to show you the majority of what they have. It's asking people not to touch, which is very, it's, it's kind of like, a, it's made into a clock. So I'm going to back up so you can see what it looks like. That's a clock, actually. Here we go. All right. All right.
some more literature to read very quick. I'll try to read this when I get home. The QR code you can go to. All right. Some more artwork over there. I'm not gonna go in that. I just give you a quick image of that. I'm not gonna go all in there, but you can kind of get an idea what they have. You got Spider-Man. And some more artwork over here. Uh, I, I plan to revisit this place in the future. See all the artwork on both sides. It's pretty spacious. Uh, I'm going to try to walk down the hallway like this so you can see all of it. You guys tell me what you think. I have talked to a lot of local artists and um, you wouldn't be surprised how talented they are. like this it might be easier Nice quilt right there. Wow. Oh, interesting. Wow. I believe there's four floors. I'm not going to go through all four floors, but um, hopefully I can come back another time and do a more intense video of this. I'm going to back up for this one. This one's pretty big. See, I heard that name before, Susan Thompson. Not too sure if that's the same Susan Thompson. Okay, I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit so I can catch at least most of this. Um, I didn't capture that side, but it's a hallway on both sides. This is nice too, wow. Back up for that one. This is very creative, very, very creative. Wow. 
I'm gonna let um, a few artist friends I know, they probably know about this place, but I'll, I'll ask them if they know. So much to see, you can't see it all. Interesting. Guys, you gotta physically be here to see it, like what I'm seeing. How many floors? You said there's four floors? No, this is the, this is the 
Two floors. Two floors. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice. I appreciate it. That's pretty much it. It's just go this way here. Uh, no, that way. Okay. I know. I like artwork. That's that's a, that's the beauty of it. You know, it's unique. Chuck, it's Chuck Turner. Wow. Cool. This is probably one of the oldest elevators in the in the um, in the city. Yeah, probably. I gotta, I gotta document that too. This is one of the elevators you probably never see in the. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, I remember those when I was a kid. Those are pretty dangerous too, you just gotta be careful. I try to come back like during the week at an earlier time so I can catch up to some of the local artists. Yeah, they, um, the time they usually be in from, from 8 a.m. Uh-huh. Until like 9 p.m. All right, cool. So that's pretty much the whole day, this is, this is what I was trying to say. American, African-American artists in residency program gallery. So that's, I believe that's the acronyms for that. I, w I was going to butcher it, so I didn't want to try to say it. <laughs> 